The rest of the world is catching up to what we've known. No longer because we are rising up. This movement is the future of our nation. And no, no illegitimate government, no illegitimate president is going to stand in our way. Next time you might try not disturbing the property of a warrior race we've hardly spoken to for a hundred years. The Federation and the Klingon Empire have always been on the cold side of war. We've had only fleeting run-ins with them for a century, and now you presume to know their motivation because it is in their nature? Considering your background, I would think you're the last person to make assumptions based on race. Deborah Ann Hartsfield. Hey! <laughs> hey, yourself. God, you look terrific. So do you. Nah, I've been on a couple pounds, you know. <laughs> Who hasn't? You still bartending at Four Leaf? Uh, no, 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 I bought the place. Yeah, me and Bob Minton and, uh, Eddie Chinetti. Yeah, we're making a go of it when we can keep from drinking the inventory. <laughs> Look, I was just going to grab a bite. You hungry? <laughs> Great. Oh, God, you look fantastic. <laughs> you two are just damn lucky that this little adventure of yours was a success. Because if your patrol had suffered just one casualty, we'd be having a very different conversation right now. Do I make myself clear? This is Crystal. His wife's name is Patricia. They were separated, but that apartment was where he met his girlfriend. Now, cops have a rule. Don't let any guy's wife find out anything you wouldn't want your own wife finding out. So I took the picture of Tommy and his girlfriend, because I didn't want it to be Patricia's last memory of him. And I took the jewelry that he was given Crystal so that I could send it to his wife, saying it was his last wish that she get it. I hope you enjoyed the ride along. It says here in the report, you reported your truck stolen at 2 p.m. on the afternoon of the robbery. So what, you got a night job, Mr. Haskell? Kind of between gigs at the moment. Why are you asking me this a second time? Because we're extra thorough when one of ours has been assaulted. I don't trust a guy that wakes up at 2 p.m. His alibi is pretty thin. It's paper thin. See anything you fancy? Maybe not that dildo. though. <laughs> well, let's drink on it. Yeah, I can't. Love to, but I can't. Right, Sit and drink with me. Unless you want to tell me why it is you keep looking out to them trees. You know, even when you were a little tyke, I, I, I knew you were going to grow up to do big things. Now, a lot of fathers will say that they want their, their kids to grow up like them. Not me. I always wanted my boy to be better. That's the deal, isn't it? We want our children to be better. Better prepared, better off, better people, better in the eyes of God. So, well, here's my son, Joel. You the bell guy, right? Yeah. Here, you need some work done? Just so we know, I don't do law enforcement. Law's not my problem. That's good. Then all I need to know is who you want going. Uh, Violet, you're, you're my go-to girl for beauty accounts. I mean, that's your thing. And you were, you are great at it. You know, when I said to get your head right, this isn't really what I had in mind. Bill, I am fine. Fine? <laughs> okay, I will give you this shot. But if I am not blown away by what you come up with, then we go back to the old Violet, all the way back. You need to know the escape ways out of here, should anything ever happen. North Main Chamber. North Main Chamber. It's where we got a refuge cache. We just got air, tools, and whatnot. Refuge catch? Cache. Cache. Refuge catch. Yeah, your, your, your daddy calls it a safety coffin. Why does he call it a... Well, because the fucking thing is shaped like a damn coffin. And if you need it, you're probably dead already. Yeah, we just uh, acquired a summer mansion on the bay, and we want to fill it with art. And the summer house is 19,000 square feet. That's a lot of Van Gogh's, young lady. Would you like an espresso? What? So you want to know what happened to the woman in the back of the ambulance? All right, fine. Two murders, three murders. I'm looking at life either way, right? I killed her. What did you do with the body? I don't remember. What is he doing? 
He touched my shoe. 